Hey, go get your wrestling gear on. What? Why? I thought I didn't have a match tonight on the network special. After what I saw you do against Cole Quinn and then Shinsuke, you do now. I'm changing the scheduled AJ Styles versus Nakamura match to a triple threat, and you're the third participant. So I get to wrestle at the Dome? On the network special? Tonight? Yes, but not if you don't get ready, so go. Now! Go! Okay, okay. Hi, Asuka. An opportunity like this doesn't come around very often. Not only because of where we are, but because of the circumstances. Triple H isn't here to try and hold you down. Owens and Zayn can't interfere. You control your destiny tonight. It's your chance to show the world live on the WWE Network that you belong in the main event picture on SmackDown. You can thank me by going out there and having the best match of your career. Okay, man. I really gotta talk to these chumps. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed that my big singles match with Shinsuke Nakamura has now changed to a triple threat match with a rookie. Are you crazy? I may be from Georgia, but the legend of AJ Styles was born in the dome. So there's no way I'm gonna be upstaged by you or Nakamura. Oh, and don't forget, you still need to buy everyone dinner. I'll go to the match. Let's go. I don't care. I'm not biting. I'm not fighting no backstage brawls, man. Oh baby, we're in the dome. This is sick. Yeah. Yeah. One and only in the dome. Oh yeah, we in the dome, baby. This looks sick. What the fuck? What's up? These fans suck, man. This place is quiet as crap. Boom. Ah. Oh, come on. How did I hit that? It's perfect timing, brother. He's pinning me. Get out of my ring, chump. What are you doing? What are you doing? You think you're gonna kick up and you come back in? Sit back down. God. God, dude. Just threw me out of the ring, okay? Oh, 
There's announcers after the match, but I just noticed that there's announcers after the match, like after the fact. So you know, right here, beginning. Come on, get me up. Get off me. What? You kidding me? You kidding me? Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Give me the low blow! Give me the low blow, brother! Give me my balls! Oh, that was nasty. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. He's gonna me out of the ring. Are you kidding me? I can't reverse that jump. Oh my god, he's gonna cash in right here. Get up. I haven't been the same since the low blow. Oh. Get up. No. Hey, just how you better kick out, bro. You better kick out. What's up? I need to get out of this picture right now. I'd say it's a career to find a Japanese tour. He what deserves to celebrate. Buzz oh capitalized man. on an opening to pin Nakamura. To capitalize is a nice way I to put you, it. AJ. He stole the win from AJ. What? Wow. Coming from AJ in Japan? Hit that. Hit that it. That means Hit a it. lot. Apparently, he's earned oh. AJ's respect. If these two have formed Sweet. an alliance, Sweet. that could have huge repercussions going forward. Without a doubt. Well, that does it for us from the Dome in Japan. Thank you so much for those of you who woke up early to catch us live on the WWE Network. Yeah, now go get some sleep. Sayonara, everyone. Stop pandering, Byron. Too sweet. How are you feeling after that big trip? A little jet lag? Yeah, a little. I mean, you can't complain, though. Yeah. Look, I just wanted to say maybe I could have shown you a little bit more respect in the past. You obviously proved in Japan that you deserve it. Hey, don't worry about it. I know you got the whole rookie treatment when you first got to WWE, too. I definitely did. Maybe I was just doing the same thing to you without even thinking about it. We're cool now, though, right? Give it to him. Give it to him. Ah! I don't know why John Cena is here, but I do know that Buzz will be in action. Coming up next on SmackDown Live. I had to give it to him. I had to give it to my boy AJ right there, boy. Too sweet.
I'm repping the Villain Club t-shirts. We got one-on-one action what coming your fuck? way next. We have one of the best talents Why on the roster to date versus Aiden English. Who will reign supreme? John Cena's gonna interrupt me. Somebody's interrupting me. I'm gonna get screwed. I'm gonna lose to him. The superstar known as Buzz is here. We're here, baby. The one and only. Making his way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 170 pounds, babyface J. J. Buzz was a three sport athlete in high school. He's going to need every bit of his athletic ability to prevail tonight. I didn't realize they gave out varsity letters for whining, taking shortcuts, and failing upwards. <laughs> oh my god, I can't watch that. I've never seen him come out again. Boy, I actually see him. Hard to be a betting man on this one. These two competitors can be unpredictable. Well, that's what makes this match so intriguing. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. Roll up. Roll up. He's going for the pin. The pinfall and the victory. One and only. God, dude, and I had to keep the my um victory song because they didn't have a sanity victory song. We did, but I don't have no more. I don't have no more points. And now we have an idea why John Cena's here tonight. Because he has an issue with Aiden English's singing. Cena might not be a fan of the Drama King, but my guess is it has more to do with wanting to get a closer look at SmackDown Live's hottest superstar, Buzz. Take it easy, partner. I'm not out here for a fight. What? At least not yet. I'm here because I've heard all the buzz. Hey, John. You gotta Cena. see this guy who's blowing up on the indies. You gotta see this guy who Who's invaded it? NXT and that stuck it? it to Triple H. You gotta see this guy who won the U.S. title and defended it in an open challenge week after week. Hmm. I wonder where he got that idea. You got to see this guy who went to Japan and beat Nakamura and AJ Styles in the dome of all places. Dude, who is this guy? Who is he? Now, most people would get caught up in all that. 
but not me. You see, I've been around for a while, and so many times I've heard all the buzz, and then when it comes time for me to actually see what's behind the buzz, it doesn't measure up to the hype. So I'm out here tonight because I want to know, do you measure up, Buzz? I can't believe you came out here, say everything you just said about what I've accomplished, and then still question whether I measure up? I think the question you should be asking, John, is whether you still measure up. You said it yourself, you've been around for a while. Some people might even say you've been around a little too long. Now don't hide behind that statement. If you're one of those people, say it to my face. You're past your prime, and I'm just getting started. Okay, so you think I need to prove to you that I measure up? Well, it's clear we're not going to settle this difference of opinions with words. But it just so happens that we have a show coming up called SummerSlam, and I currently don't have an opponent. So how about you and I step into the ring and go one on one? After that, all our questions will be answered. After SummerSlam, the next thing you're going to hear people say is, you gotta see this guy who absolutely destroyed John Cena. I guess that's a yes. Wow, what a match My that is going job. to be at SummerSlam. Hmm. If anyone knows anything about having immediate success in the WWE, it's me. After all, I was the youngest world heavyweight champion in history at the age of 24. But unlike you, Buzz, I didn't rely on cheap gimmicks like viral videos or invading someone else's show to make it to the top. No, I did things the right way. But that's not what gets rewarded these days, is it? No, now you get hot on the indies, show up, win a few matches on SmackDown, they get handed a main event match in one of the biggest shows of the year. Well, I am sick of it. I am sick of it. I should be facing John Cena at SummerSlam, not you. you the one that man. is my spot. It's a one-on-one -on -one match, not for nothing. Look, I can give you an entire list of reasons why I'm facing John Cena at SummerSlam. But instead, let me give you one reason why you're not facing Cena. Because we've seen that match yeah, yeah. over and over and over again. The WWE Universe wants something new and exciting. Not Cena versus Orton part 589. I don't give a damn what the WWE Universe wants. Yeah? Well, I do. And since we have unfinished business after you cost me the US title, how about we give them a match they've never seen before? You versus me right now! What's in it for me? The chance to prove everything you just said about me. That's fine. But I was thinking more like if I beat you, I take your place in the match versus Cena at SummerSlam. Do you want to shut up all the critics and earn your big main event opportunity? Or do you want another handout? All right, to prove to you and everyone else that I've earned everything I've ever gotten, 
I'll put my spot in the SummerSlam match on the line. That's great. I look forward to taking it from you by giving the WWE Universe something they have seen before. Me hitting you with an RKO. can defeat him. Or does he have the game? I think it's a matter of pride. Well, there's a fine line between pride and stupidity, and he's crossed it. Beautiful neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. Okay. Randy Orton is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history. With few weaknesses. Corey, how would you target the Apex Predator? One needs to look at Orton's medical history for the key. More than anything else, shoulder injuries have put the Viper on the sideline. brought up Orton's many shoulder injuries earlier, and my quick research corroborates that. He suffered one just six months into his career, and it's been... Randy Orton looking to finish this one early. Buzz with the easy kick out. Nah, not yet. Too early. Down to the floor. Boy, Randy Orton never stops. Arnie dodges out of the way. Oh, nasty impact. Back between the ropes. Showing off some of his speed there. You've got to believe this one's over. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Nailed it. Boom. Just striking at will. He's in control now. Oh, uh, going to the top. High risk. Oh. Moonsault. Uh, and there's his speed paying off. What is that, man? Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful technique. Boom! Oh, what? What's Triple H doing oh, here? This could get ugly get... real fast, guys. We're about to have a new oh. Wait a minute. AJ Styles might have something to say about that. Why is AJ attacking Triple H? This is career suicide. Some people value friendship over money, Corey. Oh, those people are idiots. Oof. Oh, look at this. He's gonna feel that in the morning. Oh, yeah. Tremendous ring presence from the apron. Here I am. This might be it. Oh, my. He's not going to go quietly. Oh, no superstar world oh, assault ever does. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. And he slips Ooh. out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to oh. do it. Oh, what impact. That has got to be it. There's the cover. Can he do it? Buzz with the 
you. Wow, congratulations, Buck. Here is your winner, babyface, Jay, Jay. Quite some back and forth there before finally picking up the win. The Apex Predator fell prey to a better opponent tonight. I can't believe it happened. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was. Hey, thanks for having my back out there with Triple H. If it wasn't for you, I might have lost my chance to face John Cena at SummerSlam. No problem. I know you don't have many allies on SmackDown, but from now on, you can trust me to be there for you. I saw what you did out there tonight. <sighs> that took some play. guts to put your match with me on the line. Honestly, I'm surprised you did. I wouldn't be where I am if I played it safe. I don't take the easy way out, no matter what obstacles are put in front of me, I never give up. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, well, that's just how I live my life. For me, it's not just a catchphrase to sell towels. And you think that's all it is for me? I busted my ass for everything I have. And will continue to do so until someone has to drag me out of that ring. Guys, you have a match coming up. How about you settle this in the ring? You know what? That's a good idea, AJ. With all this talk about never giving up, how about you put your money where your mouth is? At SummerSlam, how about we make our match a submission match? <laughs> like I said, I don't play things safe. So you got it. I hope you're ready to dance at SummerSlam. Because I'm gonna make you tap. Hey, come on, that's enough. Are you sure that was the right decision? <laughs> no, not at all. I need to start learning some more submission moves ASAP. Oh my god. Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the pay-per-view, just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Hey, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is... I hate to ask for another favor, but would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm gonna beat Cena in this submission match. I mean, I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. Oh my... Stand up, I'll show it to you. Awesome. I owe you one. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Triple H, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to help at this point. Yeah, tell me about it. He's still holding one against me from five years ago. Anyway, good luck in your submission match versus Cena. Avoid the STF at all costs. Daniel Bryan side match. Let's go to some.
Wait. Let me. Did they switch my stuff? Dang. No. This is an amazing opportunity for Buzz. Just look at what a victory over Cena did for Kevin Owens when he first arrived in WWE. He went on to become Universal Champion. I agree. If Buzz was able to defeat Cena tonight, it could catapult him to a whole other level. None of that matters because I heard Buzz was begging people backstage to teach him submission holds. That sounds more like a man who's going to catapult right into a brick wall. Oh, this can be hard. What a stop! Good grief! Elbow drop. Piercing. Athleticism into the arm drag. Oh, and a double axe handle. Incredible height. Harsh I impact. That counts. That counts over the reasons. Put that crazy in What was this a mission match? John Why Cena is perhaps the most dominant competitor in WWE history. Is there any strategy that can work against Big Match John? When you compete at the level that Cena has for as long as he has, injuries pop up. Nothing chronic, but he's definitely got a few target areas that an opponent should look out for. Oh, from behind. Frankensteiner! Nicely done! We discussed John Cena. Now Buzz has Cena in the calf crusher. Oh Cena God. counters it into the STF. Ain't no calf crusher. That's ankle lock. What is Triple H doing? Oh boy, we've seen this before. Yeah, this has Montreal screw job written all over it. He's gonna call for the bell. AJ Styles stopped Triple H from costing Buzz the match. Oh my God! In complete control. Going all the way up. Look at this. Ooh. John Cena plays mind games as good as okay. anybody. Let's call up the shoes. Got the reversal. Really working Dude. over the body. Going for the big one. He's looking a little weary here. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. <clears throat> Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. This might be it. Oh, my. We'll pull his line. Nice. Shut it down. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. Oh, oh it's over. <gasps> oh, boy. He is rolling. Ooh, what is it? Now Buzz has Cena and the calf crusher. A move he obviously learned from AJ Styles. He did it. Buzz has made John Cena give up to the calf crusher. I never thought I'd see that happen. Unbelievable. What? For everyone who thought Buzz didn't belong Just in this spot, it. he proved tonight. Kurt Angle, now Ooh. we've seen it all tonight. Despite Triple H's best efforts to impede your progress, you have accomplished amazing things on SmackDown. I've been so impressed that I think the Raw audience also deserves to see what all the buzz is about. So that's why I've negotiated with Daniel Bryan. And we were able to agree on a special one-time trade. Sending you to Raw immediately. Well, I can't believe it, but the Raw GM has spoken. Buzz is headed for Monday night. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. I wish I could say good riddance, but we'll be right there with him. <laughs>